In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to correct the brightness and contrast of an image using a couple of editable adjustment layers. I'm working inside of a document called amusementpark.jpg found inside the exercise files folder. Now you can see in this image here we have a classic backlighting problem. The background is properly exposed, but the foreground, the subjects of my photograph, lie in shadow. Now, I could have corrected this in advance by using a fill flash, but I didn't. But fortunately, Photoshop lets us correct the problem as well. I'm going to give myself a little more room to work by clicking to the right of the word Styles in order to collapse that panel. I could expand it again just by clicking in that same location. And I've also got open my Adjustments and Layers panels. In order to see those panels, or any panels for that matter, you go to the Window menu and choose a command. So there's the Adjustments command, and there's the Layers command. I'm also going to make my layer thumbnails a little bit bigger by right-clicking underneath the word Background in this empty area here. If you don't have a right mouse button on the Mac, you would press the Control key and click. And I'll choose Large Thumbnails. Now to add an adjustment layer, which is an independent layer of color adjustment that you can modify at any time you want, which means you can change your mind and makes for a very flexible composition. And because I want to correct the brightness and contrast of this image, I'm going to click on this icon right there, which adds a brightness contrast adjustment layer. Now, if you know anything about the history of Photoshop, you may have heard people tell you never to use the brightness contrast command. That's no longer the case. The command was upgraded in Photoshop CS3. It's a much better command. In fact, I highly recommend it, especially for this image here. I'm going to click in the brightness value, and I'm going to press Shift Up Arrow in order to raise that value in increments of 10. And I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just keeping an eye on how my image looks on screen. And I'm going to take that value up to, say, 70 looks pretty good. Now I'm having a problem with the sky getting a little bit blown out. In other words, we're losing some definition in the sky. And I'm going to take care of that problem by reducing the contrast value, because this image has plenty of contrast. In fact, it has too much. So I'll click inside that contrast value, and I'll press Shift Down Arrow a few times. And a value of negative 30 looks pretty good. Now at this point, I can see that I've actually taken the brightness too high. So I'll click inside that brightness value and press Shift Down Arrow to take it down to 60. There are no magical values, by the way. You're just responding to the colors that you see inside the image. Now let's say I feel like the colors are a little bit washed out. I'd like to make them a bit more intense. Then I would add a different adjustment layer. So I'll go ahead and click on this icon right there, which takes me back to the adjustment list. And then I'll click on this stylized V for vibrance which will bring up two options, Vibrance and Saturation. And you can see that I have added another adjustment layer down here in the Layers palette. And I'm going to take my Vibrance option up. The great thing about Vibrance is it responds to the intensity of the colors that are in the image. So it actually adds intensity to the colors that need it most. So I'm going to press Shift Up Arrow a few times in order to raise that value. And I'll take it up to, say, plus 50 looks pretty good. And then I might take the Saturation value up a little bit as well to plus 10. Again, just by pressing Shift Up Arrow. And in case you're interested, if you want finer control, you can press an arrow key by itself. The Up Arrow key will raise that value in increments of 1. The Down Arrow key will lower the value in increments of 1 as well. Now I can see that my colors are more intense. They look pretty darn good. The only problem is I don't feel like the brightness and contrast is everything it should be anymore. That's not a problem. I can just go back to the Brightness Contrast layer by clicking on it, and you'll see the values that I applied, 60 and negative 30, and they are completely editable. So I could take this value up now, the Brightness value, up to 80, for example, and I could tab to the Contrast value. That is, I press the Tab key to jump to the Contrast value, and I'll press Shift Down Arrow to lower that one to negative 40. And so what you have is a very flexible combination of editable color adjustment layers, that are non-destructive because we can modify them any time we like. We haven't actually affected a single pixel permanently inside this image, and I'll show you what I mean. I'll go down here to the Layers palette, and I'll Alt-click on this eyeball right here. That would be Option clicking on the Mac in order to turn off my adjustments. And now you can see this is the original version of the image. If I Alt-click or Option click again, this is the modified version of the image, thanks to brightness, contrast, and vibrance working together in Photoshop CS4.